Americans. And that's when the American delegation left, along with diplomats from more than a dozen nations. The Iranian president railed against the U.S. while Instead staying in a luxury sign. American hotel. CBS 2's Tony Aiello takes you inside. In the days leading up to his latest rant at the United Nations, President Ahmadinejad laid his head at night here at the Warwick Hotel on West 54th Street. Security, as you might imagine, is incredibly tight, but we got our camera inside. That's our camera going through the X-ray machine the Secret Service set up outside the Warwick, where an entourage of Iranians could be seen milling around all day, eating lunches provided by a local kebab joint, all protected by an NYPD SWAT team and snurs up on a rooftop. We got into the Warwick with a key provided by activists who brazenly wore anti-Ahmadinejad t-shirts in the lobby. They set up on the 11th floor, seven stories below where the Iranian leader was staying. You know, we've had some of his entourage ask, ask us questions, see where, we're, see where we're going. Their outrage, the Warwick rented rooms to Ahmadinejad, providing a home base for his visit to the UN, where he made a predictable rant against the US and Israel. They threaten anyone who questions the Holocaust and September 11th with sanctions and military action. I just want to thank the Warwick for a wonderful stay, really great service. Protesters made their point outside. The Warwick should have joined others that refused to rent rooms to a man who tramples civil rights in Iran and works for the destruction of Israel. I think it's obvious that a lot of hotels did not want to host him. Maybe they don't support him, maybe they don't want his money, maybe they don't want to deal with this mess that, that he's caused here at the Warwick. It's a terrible, terrible thing for this hotel to sponsor this, uh, this criminal uh, in New York City. The Warwick responded with a statement, quote, we are ready to cater to the needs of UN delegates and other representatives in support of this official event. The anti-Ahmadinejad group hopes the Warwick pays a price for playing host. And they note rooms that were going for about $600 a night last week were available for $400 a night this week. In Midtown, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. And tomorrow promises more drama at the United Nations.